guys. Welcome to this week's Let's Talk Rugby podcast. My name is Joseph Dungu, and I'm joined by a coach, player called Kevin McMott. He's here to discuss rugby with us, and Kevin, hi, how are you feeling? Ah, I'm feeling good. I feel I'm very fine. You don't have any fatigue? You so far play two games, no injuries, no, eh? Um, I know what to do. I'm feeling fine. Ah, we've had it. Yeah. Um, I'm glad and I'm happy you have no injury, but um, we are starting on a very sad note, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Last weekend, Pirates welcomed the Mongers from mm. Entebbe yeah. at Kings Park. Mm. And there was a terrible tackle incident that happened on one of the Mongers players. Did you see that? I, I watched the video I, and uh, me... I think it was teams didn't get time to prepare well since teams were just coming back and I think the union, our rugby union should help these clubs uh, send, send uh, experienced coaches to help them can create a clinic at clubs, you understand? At club level, yeah. yeah, put clinics, this, uh, you send uh, uh, doctors to help these guys send coaches, the likes of the experienced coaches, the likes of Fred, Wafula, the Magona. You can send them to these clubs and they help them. And then I, I feel they should put a law, yeah, a law to these top clubs. To a coach to coach a club must be having a certain level. Yeah. Not everyone can coach these clubs. But I think something like that is existing because usually the union gets to know the coaches and their level. Uh, uh, it's not. It's not here in Uganda. I don't think it's there, because we have coaches who, guys who just retired and started coaching. Yeah. Yeah. Because when I checked the when I checked the list of the coaches, are, some coaches in the top teams don't even have level one. Yeah. But uh, they are playing. They are coaching these players, and I don't think they have the best. Let's be a quick local coach. Yeah. Um, Fred Mudola for Betway Cops. He's a level two coach. Level two coach. Coach Bobby Musinguzi for He's a level two coach. Level two coach? Yeah. Is that sufficient? Is level two sufficient? Yeah, level two is very good. Mongas, they have coach. They have Fabian. Yes, Fabian. Who is a level one. So he shouldn't be coaching. He needs help. He needs, he needs someone help to yeah. upgrade. Exactly. So does I think it really reflects on the quality of rugby being played. Yeah, because you see, if you look at the top clubs, the, the clubs that have level two coaches and they have help from other coaches, it's very hard to find a player getting such an injury. Or a player, get a player who doesn't know how to do what to do. It's very hard. I don't know. Maybe that video can be played. But um, if you watch that video carefully, you would... Look at the Pirates player, that's Rujumba, mm. trying to dummy exactly. the Mongers player. Yeah. So, the Mongers player stands flat foot. Exactly, right? yeah. Stands flat foot. Is that, is that right? That's so, not right. It's, uh, one, if, you, if you're going for a tackle, you have to read your opponent. You have to commit. You, yeah. And you, one, you have to have contact with the opponent. You have to look at the opponent. And you have to give him a side so that you have so a better. You have, yeah, you have to give him on option. Their thigh, not your head exactly. On the you cannot put your head on the side where you're going to land. Your head has to be on this side, and your head has to be on top of the guy. Yeah. You understand? Unless you're going to take the guy back. So I think uh, that player had to have his basics right. Exactly. That's the tackling basic because when you're introduced to rugby, safety is key. For yes. Rugby. Safety yes. first always. You're supposed to know the passing technique, the tackling technique, mm. which in this case that player faulted a little. And But very sad about that. I guess right now he's improving a bit. Yeah, you told me he's improving, he's recovering. But it's going to take him long to come back. Yeah. We'll continue wishing him all the best and keep praying for him. Yeah. Fast forward, um, what was your highlight from the weekend? Of course, apart from your loss. <laughs> Apart from your loss at, at Chadondo, what was your highlight from all the games that were played? Uh, I think it was Rhinos Rams. Yes. I Rhinos think. coming back, uh, winning Rams after 
Rams guys attacking them during the week. Asking social them, media. Uh, social media uh, asking them, uh, what is, not, not even keyboard, <laughs> what is a female rhino? Uh, they say it was a cow. <laughs> so <laughs> after the game, some of us were asking them, did you milk the cow? Some of them are not replying. <laughs> Yeah. So you understand, Rhinos is trying to build a team. Yeah. Uh, I see they have many young players uh, and some experienced players. So I think it was my highlight of the, during the weekend. So are those players from their junior team, Chifaru? I think some of them yeah. are. Most of them are from Chifaru. They graduated from Chifaru to the main team. Yeah. And I guess this win shows us that um, there is competition in the league. There is competition because the score was... Um, 13 14 to Rhinos who yeah. are visiting the Rams in Makere. But I guess rugby is growing. You can see that competition because uh, almost every team had written off Rhinos. Everyone mm. thought, right? Mm. Everyone thought Rhinos was going to keep losing. But me, me, I would not say that there is competition. Or I would not say that it's growing. Rhinos was a very big club. I remember very well. Rhinos, we had over, when I was playing for Rhinos, we had over 40 players. Yeah, would select a team and other players even complain. Rhinos played against Pirates at Kings Park. Yeah, yeah. they traveled 15 players. Musaja got injured, Ivan Chirabo got injured. There remains 13 players on the pitch. There's no way you can tell me the rugby is growing and a team like Rhinos, one of the oldest clubs in Ugandan rugby, traveling with only 15 players away game at Kings Park. Yeah. There's no way you can tell me it's growing. When was this? When did they travel to Kings Park? Uh, the first game. The first game they played against Cobbs, yes. Yes. Against Paris, yes. Yes, they're against Cobbs. They were 15. Yeah, which is not good. Yeah, it's not good for a club like Rhinos. Yeah. It's like waking up the next morning and they tell you, even there's no players. They are given a walkover. There's no way you can tell someone that rugby is growing or there's competition. Yeah. Rhinos has no second team right now. Still on that team, on that uh, note of um, preparation, player numbers and all, do you think uh, the time allocated by the union to these clubs uh, was adequate for them to prepare for this league? Because your player, I personally think more time was needed, but where would they have borrowed that time really? Could we have waited? What do you think? Uh, me, I think we would have waited. They would, have given, they would have given teams to prepare. Coming out, coming out of long, long lockdown, COVID, all the things, it's not easy. You understand? It's not easy. This is why some of these injuries are coming. Yeah. Most of these boys, most of these players, when the lockdown came in, most of you know, most clubs have university students. So when the lockdown came in, most of them go to the villages, what? And there was no training, they were not allowing people to train. Coming back, they weren't conditioned. Yeah, they, to you're, giving a, yeah you're giving a team one month to train and... To assemble players. Exactly. Get them fit. First assemble them. in that one month, first assemble players, and then you know, start get your training, organize training. Players. By the time you realize, you have a week to the first game. Yeah. Yeah, that means guys were not prepared for this season. But above all, I guess, I've watched some of the games and I think... For the time you've not been playing, all the times you've played a second game or an early game, you get time to sit and watch mm. the other team using the facility. How do you rate the quality of rugby? I think it's not been so bad. We've been accustomed to some some entertainment, some good rugby. Though you wouldn't maybe the, pass it, but still. The, you... the games I've watched, the games I've watched, the guys who are performing right now and the guys who are playing serious rugby and the, the guys you see that they're really pushing are the guys who have been training the sevens. And those are the guys who are fit and they're well conditioned. Because I watched Heathens play Pirates. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. Because if you look at the way Kokos and Aaron of Ferrot were playing that game, if you look at the way Massa was. Desire, Yera, those exactly. Ball carries, you would really see it's different. Fit. Yes. It's very different they than the guys who Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's very different from the other guys. Because most of the Pirates forwards were very. Um, they were not really fit for that game because you realize they lost uh, uh, five of their first line outs yeah. because if you watch the game critically uh, their hooker failed to hook true Wambale. Wambale. and I, I think I don't know 
Yeah, if you look at the Paris team also, you would really see, you see Didi has lost it out. He's now on the bench. Yes. You understand? Didi was a starter. You see? You look at Guambale. But I guess it's not Paris it's alone. It's all, all clubs, yeah. all yeah. clubs. Yeah. Even Heathens. True. Yeah, even Heathens, if you look at the likes of Santos right now. Yeah. It's not the Santos who was playing for the national team last year. Yeah? That's true. It's not uh, the Santos we know. That's true. If you look at Biamugisha, it's not the Biamugisha we know. Makumot, guess what? Clubs are going to be hurt or they are going to be dealt a big blow when these sevens players leave. Uh, yeah. Most of the clubs that have their players. I, I, I feel now the season is starting this weekend. <laughs> the, real the real league is now starting <laughs> this weekend. Now, this is where we are going to see a team that is prepared, a team that has depth. You understand? Is it, now you're going to see the team that wants to be professional or semi-pro. It's now, this is the time you're going to see. Because I'm seeing teams going to struggle. If you have no depth, you're going to struggle. Can you cite any teams you think that are going to struggle? In my, in my case, but it will depend on the sevens coach speaking. Because if you if you are to go by the usual the usual selection, mm. you'd expect that um, players like. <laughs> Dungu, right now, right now the coach has fourteen players in his camp. Yeah. Right, and the fourteen players, they still need two off, of the of that team. Now, Cobs and Pirates have mo have the most players on that team. So Aaron and uh, Michael are short. Those. So they are most likely going to make that team. They won't make the team. Yes. They won't make the team. Aaron, Michael, making the team. Yes. Coming down to Cobbs. Cobbs, Pius are going to make the team. Yeah, that's one. Pius are going to make the team. Ian Munyan will make the squad. Uh, Casito will make the team. Those are three. Yes. Byron Oketayot. Four. Will make the team. Yeah. There is Aredo uh, and... Uh, Aredo. And... Uh, Aredo will make the team. You make the team. So you you uh, estimate that Cobbs will have about five players away. Exactly. And their depth will be tested. They're already away because they're, they're already away. They're already away. away. Yeah, yeah. So they are out. They're out. They're on the uh, they're on the fourteen man squad. They just have to drop two. Yeah. Which in Kore Kore has papers. He's on the fourteen. Kore is at campus. You know that. No, he he graduated. Are you sure? Though he's at. Um, LDC you right understand? Now. There's no way. <laughs> the moment graduated yeah. before so, he's an undergraduate. So you, you, one more person, we have to get off the team with maybe Balagade. But then Philip Okorash is also... He's going to, to, yeah, he's going to join them from the other side. Yeah. yeah. Philip is going to join them. So if you... Who is now affected? Of course, the big clubs. We see that Cobbs has a number of players. But you can't blame Cobbs. Actually, you'd credit Cobbs for supplying the national team with, with that number of uh, players, five of them, starters, actually, you would credit that club. But yeah, you, but what happens, what happens to the team, uh, like, uh, let me say, the club? Like Pirates, because if you watch because, Pirates... Because you see, don't you see, Tolbert wanted to pull these players even before the league. He wanted to pull them out. To was, to was Cobb who said, no, why, we need this why, why, Was it justifiable to pull the players out? It is. It is. They have, they have so many engagements this season, this year. Yeah. yeah, they have so many. But look at this, Kevin. If you think um, the Kutolba needed to pull those guys out, mm. do you think he can facilitate them as their clubs can? Because that's the real talk here. Yeah? Yes. If you look at a club... Uh, do you know these players have contracts with these, the sevens, uh, the sevens yeah, team? That one, that one. And they are paid yeah. every month. Yeah. Yeah? So... If they are paid, the country pays them. But but if, Isn't you, it? if, if um, so, these guys are working. It's their job. It's their job. It's a job. You see, you see, Kevin. It's supposed to be uh, a mutual agreement. The union is supposed to beg the clubs to release the players. The union is not supposed to beg. If a player has a contract, if the players put the club, ink, the club has a very huge take on their player. That's what uh, I think. Usually. The the union is bigger than the club. Yes, it is. Yes. But you realize that the club has authority over their player. Because for like the ongoing Six Nations, some of the players uh, were withheld by their what? 
by their clubs are not given for their for national team duty? Dungu, if you call a player on the national team, and I tell a player I want to give you a contract, and you agree, and I give you that contract, and you go through it, and you say, yes, I want to sign. Yeah? You have signed the contract. Isn't it? That means if I, I call you and I say I need you, you have to come. No, that's if it's stipulated actually in the contract that... It's there. It's there. Well, then... That's why I told but say two games... Out. Out. If they play this weekend, you won't see trouble <laughs> with some clubs. It happened to Cobbs. Yeah. It I happens to Cobbs. I was still at Cobbs. It happened to Cobbs. They called players the national team. Fact players were banned. And then they called a few players the national team refused to play. Points were off. Cobbs lost the trophy to events. You understand? So, the union has more power than the club. So, what do you make of um, the remaining players? Do you think the clubs uh, will lose very much greatly? Do you think those teams will start registering losses and all that? We need to start by this weekend. From first watch this weekend. Like I said, we are going to see which team has depth. Talking about this weekend, um, this, this, this weekend is special to you, Makumot. I guess you realize that. <laughs> Your parent club, you almost, <laughs> eh, in your words, by usually, yeah, mm. is playing against, uh, they're playing against each other. Um, Buffaloes is crossing Ginger Road to be hosted by the Beto Cops at a legend rugby club. What do you think of that game? You're playing. Yeah, I'm playing. I've played Cops before. So many times. Uh, I don't think it, I still have to play my game. I like playing against, I like challenges, I like playing against teams like Cobbs, teams like Kirens, I like playing against them. And I, I think I'll still play the same game I play, I'll still do what I do best. Yeah, I'll have to take it to them. Elsewhere, Kirens is going to be playing against Rams in Makere. Mm. What do you make of that game? I guess, in my opinion, I guess Kirens will want to put on a, their biggest score for now. They are past um, for the past two bigger than the past two games they've played so far. Mm. Though Rams will also try to resist a bit, being that they are not a club that gives up. Judging by their coach Lumu's attitude, is a very, very, very um, good coach, fighting spirit. Uh, Pirates will be playing against the Makere Impis mm. at Kings Park. Uh, I Pirates will win. Pirates will win against uh, Impis. But uh, do you think it will come that easy? Paris has the depth. I think they have the depth. They are only going to miss Massa. They are going to miss Massa. Desire. Desire. Kore. Kore Se, um, Okia. And Solomon Okia. Those are four players. Those are four players. Yes. Yeah. Solomon Okia has just joined. He has played two games. Just yeah. like everyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Okeni at Hidden's. Solomon Okia has just joined Eden, uh, Pirates. Pirates. So that means there was a, there's a guy who's waiting. They have someone who's waiting to play that number. Yes, that. Yes. Uh, me, I think Pirates has the depth because they'll pull players from Sailors yes. to the main team. Yeah. So it's easier for them. That's why I told you, we are waiting to see. So you, uh, what's your big game for the weekend, you think? It's Buffalo's Cubs. Okay, so everyone should be at Legends. Exactly. Um, all right, so we'll always remind you to check out our Kratos shop on the internet, www.kratosbrand.com forward slash shop. Check out for all your apparel, sports apparel, training, um, rugby replicas, sports, gym equipment, and, every, and all that. Please don't forget. Keep checking out our shop and purchase our items. Any final remarks you have to make? <laughs> Anything to your fans? Um, some of your fans knew you at in the blue outfit. They now see you as a coach player uh, at the swamp. <laughs> yeah, I don't say. <laughs> I left the swamp to go to another swamp. <laughs> <laughs> make your final remarks and believe this place. <laughs> 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 so uh, 
uh, my fans come down saturday come support come and support buffaloes come and support Jacob's Jacob's team come watch beautiful rugby <laughs> ah, ah. uh, let's talk rugby podcast see you next time <laughs> Dungu. Hey.